days and days in the dark waiting for the light that used to be in my heart now i'm all out of feelings so much for happy endings the moment you find out you're expecting the questions begin what do you think it will be a boy or a girl but what do you do when your little one grows up and things aren't quite so pink and blue my name's dina this is Reading Writing, and I'm here talking to author Jackie Sawirski about her new book, Be Yourself. Thank you for joining me, Jackie. Thanks for having me. So the main character in the book is a gender creative child. Can you just explain to us for a moment what gender creative means? Sure. Well, I wrote this book based on my personal life, really. So I have an eight-year-old son. He actually illustrated the book, and um, he's what I call gender creative. So that means that he was born a boy, he identifies as a boy, but yet his gender expression is very feminine by the clothes he wears, his body language, his interests are quite feminine. Okay, so he's obviously been very involved with this book, illustrating yeah. it, and uh, so is he excited about this? Is he um, sort of behind the message in the book? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think our whole family would like everybody to learn this. It's hard when you're the kid that's always different. And so for him having this, we're really hoping that we share this message and this language of acceptance so that, you know, people are more understanding and respectful of who he is and who other, you know, gender diverse kids are. Yeah, for sure. And in the book, one of the things that you say is that uh, we should love children for who they are, not for who we expect them to be. And I think that's a really important point. Uh, what do you think, um, do people get that or do, we, do you think people are very hung up on sort of who they think their child will be when they grow up? I think in general we're really such a society focused on gender stereotypes. You know from the day your baby's born you put them in blue or pink and that has a meaning associated with it. You know they have their rattle, their rattle's pink or it's blue or you know it's camo versus you know princess and I think stereotypes are so rampant and it's so hard when you are not fitting in with the stereotype so we share sort of the language of acceptance when it's really there's no boy clothes or girl clothes clothes are just clothes you wear what makes you feel confident and happy you know just like there's no boy stuff or girl stuff anything can be for boys and anything can be for girls yeah I think the message really comes through in the book I read it to my children, they really enjoyed it, and one of the first things my son said is like, look, it's a boy, because he knew, even though he can't read, that the blue meant boy. So it's, you know, it just goes to show that maybe we do have a little bit more work to do in this area. So I think this is a great first step, and thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for having me.